here is my Walmart order and it's kind of jambled up and I'm just going to dig right in. We needed some toothpaste this week. We love this peanut butter. It's like the best one, not too oily. Um, and it's a pretty big container, um, but it takes us a couple weeks to go through it and we were running low. I ran out of sriracha. I did not get the huge bottle because I honestly haven't been eating it as much as I used to. Um, which is kind of a good thing probably, but I just got the smaller bottle this time. We did get like five or so bananas, some lemons for this week. Gavin ran out of salad dressing. This is like the only one he really likes other than like uh, Caesar. I wanted some <laughs> jalapenos for a meal that we're doing this week. I'm going to attempt to cook pinto beans in the crock pot on Sunday. We'll see how that goes. Gavin, I guess, ordered these for himself, the RX bars. He was in charge of like doing the online order, so I guess he wanted those for his bars this, his bars this week. We don't buy these that often, but we did run out of the toilet wand refills, um, and that's part of the reason why this grocery haul was a little bit more expensive. Um, like the Walmart portion was because we did have to buy this and we did have to buy like a big jar of peanut butter. But these last us like months because I use one for both toilets. I just use a little bit for one and then use the other half for the other. There's still cleaning stuff in it and it's just able to use less um, but still get the job done. We got carrots from Walmart because the ones from Aldi I got a, like a month or so ago were like really mushy and just nasty and disgusting. So I'm never going to get baby carrots from Aldi. Maybe one day when I forget <laughs> that they were mushy. I got one red bell pepper for a recipe, two green bell peppers, two zucchinis. Aldi does have zucchini, but sometimes it's the, only the organic ones or it's the other kind. There's like three. So it was kind of just a might as well get two from Walmart. We know they have them. Not a big deal. Sometimes Aldi can be scarce on their produce. So that's why we got that from there. Plus Aldi doesn't have red green bell peppers. Um, so anyways, I needed that for recipe. We got two things of potato gnocchi. We got the four cheese gnocchi and then just a regular potato gnocchi for a recipe we're trying this week. And then some whole wheat pasta because for some reason our Aldi doesn't carry whole wheat pasta, only regular pasta. Um, I'm really excited about the recipes we're doing this week. We're trying to incorporate more like vegetarian um, recipes just because we're trying to cut back on like how much meat we consume, which will also help with the grocery bill. So that is our Walmart pickup and then I will go and do Aldi here in a little bit. All right, here is the last bit of the grocery haul. It is Aldi. Um, I did not pick up any meat this week, which feels weird, but we do have some in the freezer. But anyways, that's besides the point. So let's get started. Always, whoops, always get my coconut and chia granola. It's our favorite and yogurts. I got three cans of organic black beans and I got the organic because I grabbed them last week and I was using them last night for dinner and they just were like so much larger. The taste really wasn't different, but anyways, I figured, hey, try it this week. It is 40 cent more for the organic, but who knows if it's really better for you, whatever. We bought some Jiffy corn mix just for some corn muffins. Blueberries were on sale, so I grabbed some of those. I really like putting these in my oatmeal in the morning. I've never eaten whole milk yogurt before, but I've heard, I don't know, I just hear of people eating it. So I figured I would try it. This is the key lime. And then I got two of the toasted coconut for myself. Gavin is good to go on yogurts this week since we went, we went Monday and picked up a few things. So he's good to go on yogurts. I did grab some onion powder because I'm slowly but surely wanting to add more spices to my cabinet. Um, without breaking the bank and there is a homemade ranch seasoning I want to try to make and onion powder was I think one of the ingredients I hope I grabbed it anyways <laughs> we were running low on chia seeds we love these things we put them in a lot of things yogurt smoothies and stuff like that 
Kobe Jack cheese because quesadillas. <laughs> uh, heavy whipping cream. We are running out of Ziploc bags. I bought three cucumbers because Gavin's been eating them as snacks and I've been putting them in salads. So that's a good little treat or snack, not really a treat. <laughs> a thing of tortillas, some Parmesan, ooh, ooh, ooh. some Parmesan cheese for a recipe of this week, some whipped topping for sweet tooth at night, two of the, what are these, honey crisp apples for Gavin. I got an avocado. I don't really know how this one is going to be. It's very firm, so I'm assuming it's not I don't know. They're 59 cent at Aldi, so figured I would try an avocado this week. I got two things of low sodium chicken broth. I was going to get the organic. It was 40 cent more. I just got this kind. Hopefully it like isn't bad. <laughs> Anyways, and then some grapes for chicken salad. They were 99 cent, I think a pound, which wasn't really bad. So I bought some red grapes or more of these. Yeah, red grapes. Anyways, and then toilet paper because we always need toilet paper. No, the last time we got toilet paper was one of my friends got us some um, from Sam's and it was a huge pack and we were finally running out and we got that in March and it's August. So that shows you how much we use of our toilet paper. So I just bought this, it was $10 for 18 rolls. So we'll see how long it lasts, but that is our, the end of our grocery haul. And we were actually under $100 this week. So that was very, very exciting. Mm -hmm.